welcome back to the channel i am looking late to know in case you are seeing me for the very first time welcome to this channel and join the family by clicking on the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up leave a comment let me know what you think about this video by the end of the video because you have to watch this video to the end to actually get the gist before you can roll with those in the comment section in this video i want to share with you how much i spent in a month as a 22 year old living in lagos okay so let's get into it firstly i want to like let you know what i do to actually like earn a living basically i'm a social media manager and a content creator for some months now i've been doing 95 and as well be been doing content creation by the side so like i get gigs i create content for brands they use their content sometimes i create content for brands and it has to go up on my platforms either my youtube or my instagram or my tiktok so i actually have different platforms for whichever one suits the brand okay so that is what i actually do to earn money those are the things i do to earn money <laughs> i'm not the kind of person that has always been lucky to get money gifts I don't know why but those are the things i do to get money basically um content creation and social media management okay so let's get into the amount of money i spent in october the 22 year old <laughs> okay i'm still a mechanic i'm not Ebola yet okay so i actually like wrote them out because i have to write them out i have to write them out okay so actually like I didn't plan it i didn't plan to do this video in the month of um, october the idea dropped towards end of october so i was like i have to go to my um financial apps that i use to start like checking every single transaction that i made and i am someone that used to like um actually like give my every of my transaction i actually give it the right title like your when you want to make a transfer the um the app would tell you description so i'm someone that gives every of my transaction description except on some cases on very rare occasions which actually happened in the month of october so i couldn't really track those ones but one way or the other i was able to do and some of it i was able to track it at all so those money just went into the thin air like that so um basically i used to be like a cashless person but because i do a 95 and i have to go around with cash like not cash 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 like that just like my transportation fare and all of that because i do yellow bus in lagos i do public transport i can't be doing uber to work every day it does not just sound weird do you know how much it cost me in the month of october okay so that's just it so let's get into the amount of money i spent <laughs> okay so i'm going to do like um week by week week one week two week three week four week five october started on a saturday but i i, I didn't do it like that i just started with the dates like october 1st to october 7 seven days in a week that was what i did for my calculations so there was no um monday to sunday monday to sunday no i didn't do it like that so we are working with the date so october 1st saturday i remember i was going home from work jj leo and i saw a vintage shirt that i love that was an impulse buy my first my first spending for the month of october was an impulse buy like my first major spending of course i like um use transportation and all of that but i would like tell you how i calculate my transportation and all of that in this video so it was an impulse buy i saw that vintage shirt i just loved it like it was actually good like the quality is good i still wear it to date like it, no cutting has come out at all it's not even cutting material so i got that one for 1500 naira that was the amount i got that vintage shirt and the next day october 2nd i went out so and the place i went to their drinks there was quite pricey so i got chivita drink for 1000 naira a this carton of it for 1000 naira um october 2nd i remember like um getting a loan from my boyfriend in my relationship when you borrow you borrow when you collect you collect <laughs> so like 
if i need money and i say oga loan me this money i have to return it but if i say give me money mm -hmm, that one is different that's how it is for me so if i loan i loan if i collect i collect there are two different things okay so i actually loaned money from my boyfriend and that was thirteen thousand naira. that was in the month of september and i paid him in the month of october i refunded the sum of thirteen thousand naira to him october 3rd i gifted somebody ten thousand naira hmm Hmm. Hey, God. So October fourth, I like that was when where I like spent the highest, maybe I think. So I had I do something like my transportation and feeding for the month, not like the total amount of money. I have different apps I use. So I like transferred a certain amount of money out of my major or bank account to the one that is not the major one so that i will know that okay my money for my transportation and just feeding like day-to-day -day feeding and all of that is in this account so when i need money i just go into that account so i like transfer the sum total of forty thousand naira to that account for my transportation and any of feeding for the month just like because i buy food from local markets from mama food from all of them so that's it for that 40,000 and my transportation. Transportation in Lagos is actually very, very costly. So, um, and mind you, the transportation I meant was just for me to go to work on a daily basis. It is not um, probably I'm going out or something. No, that's not it. It's just transportation to work and feeding for work days. Okay. So after that, same day, October 4, I bought sunscreen and that costed me 7700 naira i didn't have to pay for delivery so i just like picked it up in their store it was um inside lekki my work area so the next same day sorry i think this day i really spent a lot um october 4th again i don't know why i spent a lot that day october 4th again i actually bought um this mini bag of rice in my house um 7000 naira although um everything was in seven thousand and i had to get something else for it to just i just spent seven thousand naira that day and october 5th that was the next day um i went grocery shopping i think i came home so i went grocery shopping i got some stuff i got spray i remember that was there i got one nonsense spray i got it for, uh, the total of everything i spent i spent a total of 2910 naira in the store that day I didn't spend much thanks to God, but that was almost fifty thousand naira. Okay, so October six, something happened, and I do not know how it happened. I have like a refund in my app. I don't know who I was refunding, but I'm very sure it was my boyfriend because it's the only one I loan money from like that, and I refund. So I don't know how come I refunded one October second, and I'm refunding again October six. When I did a lot of spending October 4th. So how that came in, I, I cannot really trace it. I did not know. Probably if I had planned the months well. Um, probably if I had planned to like make this video, I would have been more cautious of it. But I didn't know how it happened. But I had to refund a sum total of 10,000 Naira. And the same day, I gifted somebody 5,000 Naira. I don't know. Any day I make a refund, i'm gifting somebody money i don't know why but that's how i have it here so the next day october 7th i got a bluetooth shutter the bluetooth shutter that i got i can't even find it again i'm still struggling i have to get another one so i got this bluetooth shutter for 2000 naira and i saw it for just like two days and it disappeared Phew. so um in week one that was the old spending for week one october 1st to october 7th in week one i don't know why i spent a lot of money in week one i don't know what happened <laughs> my spending in week one amounted to a total of a hundred thousand one hundred and ten naira one hundred thousand 110 naira that was the amount of money i spent in week one god i beg i don't want to be a mechanic or to be a baller for life <laughs> hey. so week two let's get into that straight and fast so um october 8th i 
got drunk i like felt ill kind of and i got drunk for 2000 naira um october 9th i decided to like go back to zenit bank i wanted to like reactivate my account and the last time i used my zenit bank account was like say three years ago so these people kept on like deducting money from my account every month up to when it was about 700 naira plus so i was just like if i want to like activate this um account i have to like pay off the nonsense debt that they put there which i wasn't owing because i don't know why you are debiting my account account that you cannot see that somebody is using if you have an explanation for that please i beg explain because i don't understand so i had to like transfer um 1000 naira into that zenith account after i went to the bank to do all those activation and the all. next day that was no the same day was it the same day yes the same day i got um some stuff from pi express and it, the total was 1700 naira um october 11 i gifted somebody hey it's you. It's you. Who is gifting you money? You are just gifting, gifting, gifting. Okay. Sometimes it just like comes to my head and I'm just gifting people money, but it doesn't happen all day, so, so don't go and up for it. So I give her someone um three thousand naira the same day, November um I'm saying November. So October eleven, same day, I bought ice cream of one thousand two hundred naira. Coach Stone was doing this um promo stuff, one cup for six hundred naira and get one free or i can't really remember but i spent a total of 1200 on ice cream so october 12th my phone was really really giving me headache it's just like collapsed that day that was a very very crazy day like i think i made a vlog on it that day i made a vlog on it and i shared it already actually that it was very very crazy for me so i my phone went off like it just went bad it just zoned out so i had to like go change the um port of that phone and i bought a new cord so i spent a total of five thousand naira that day and um october 14th i spent um for data my data subscription i spent 1500 naira for like a week subscription so the thing about me is for my monthly subscription i like do it um the ending of a month yeah that's how i can say it like before the new month basically so wherever that data ends that ends me here until the next almost new month that is how i do my data so whenever that data that i did oh, for one month so when it ends i'll just do my one five one five one five till the month ends but sometimes it doesn't pay me so i just close eye and do another monthly subscription but that's the stage of money to be honest but data safe is not even easy like these people just suck this data anyhow so that was it um for week two i spent a total of ooh for week two i spent a total of fifteen thousand four hundred naira which is actually fair for one week okay you would notice that i didn't mention transportation or feeding for week two that was because in week one i already like sent a total of forty thousand naira to an account that covers up for that so that has like left my whole um budget you get so that's just it that's why it is not in week two at all at all because everything has been done in week one so let's move on to week three so week three was when tragedy struck i fell ill like terribly ill i couldn't go out i couldn't do anything i just had to get drugs and i spent a total of four thousand two um 250 naira. so that was the total amount of money i spent in week three aside today i went to work in that week three that i just went to disturb myself but that was from the transportation money of course so i spent a total of four thousand two hundred and fifty naira in week three straight to week four that's october 25th i paid for the delivery of a package i was expecting i paid the sum of 2000 naira so i paid for my hair this hair that i just made guys i just made this hair today to be very honest and this is november 14 or let me can you check this is november 14 and i just made this hair. i paid for this hair since october <laughs> but there was no time 
like there was no time to make the air that was why i kept on moving it moving it and finally i made the air so i paid for this air the total was um seven thousand two hundred naira for everything but i didn't pay everything at once i paid six thousand naira in october so i just balanced up after the old making so i paid for this air in october i had to buy extension box in the house the one um i was using before got burnt so i bought wool three thousand naira um october 6 um 26 sorry october 26 i had to order food from the place or i can't remember i think the place so i had to order food october 26 i spent a total of 2750 naira on that food so october 27th i ordered food again i spent a total of 2550 naira October 27th, same day, I went to get um a I wanted to get an ATM card for my Zenit account so I would be able to use my mobile app. But somehow, somehow they said I didn't need um an ATM card to actually open to actually activate my mobile app. I had to activate my mobile app in Zenit Bank because why should we even be activating mobile app inside the bank? Like why? when did that one start so i already sent like 1000 naira into my zenit account i think that money is still there <laughs> i just sent it to the account but since i didn't use it the money is still there i think i don't know if i've removed it though so the next day or no still 27th i withdrew tife that 40,000 naira finished somehow somehow i don't know i did not know how it finished though but I knew that from 27 that was month end. Ah, I even tried now. Nah, ah, from fourth, I tried. Ah, ah, I tried. But I don't know why it finished though, because week three, I didn't really go out. I didn't even go out. I don't know. I think I just spent that money one kind, one kind, somehow, somehow. So I had to withdraw TFA from my other account, not the really um accounts for my transportation i had to withdraw three thousand naira and pos charges 100 naira so that was three thousand one hundred naira so 27th i had to just close my eye again and no i didn't even close my eye it was time for my next month subscription so i did my monthly subscription of ten thousand naira i paid for my nails that the other that was the day i went to make my nails that was um my nails costed three thousand five hundred now it was acrylic overlay on my natural nails so november what am i saying november so october 28 i actually like went to ebano to get air accessories and that costed me two thousand four hundred now i got this claw clip pin and elastic bands outlet bands in black because of my air tutorials on instagram so i spent a total of 2400 now so the total of week four spending um came to 33,900 naira and i think that is not bad let me calculate it again because i don't know if this is it 2000 naira plus 6000 the total spending for week four amounted to 36,000 300 naira so that was it for week four week five i want to just go straight into it because i don't want to like comment about anything because the money i'm seeing here oh god was this money this pain so shall week five october 29 i went grocery shopping um i got something worth 1240 naira um october 30 i did laundry three thousand naira october 30 again same day i withdrew tfair for work like the next week that was um october ending to november i withdrew seven thousand naira october 30 i went to the store again to buy stuff and everything amounted to 1020 naira so for week five total and that was the end of October. I spent a total of 12,260 naira. 
now let's like <laughs> make a total of everything from week one to week five i intentionally didn't make a total like of everything i didn't even try to calculate it in my head because i don't want to like come on i don't know shall let's calculate it yet together and see the total because uh i know some of you are already with your calculator and you have the total already so let me take my own calculator and have the total yeah okay so week one we spent a hundred thousand one hundred and ten naira plus week two we spent we spent or i spent fifteen thousand four hundred naira <laughs> God, I beg you. Week three, I spent four thousand two hundred and fifteen naira. Week four, I spent thirty-six thousand three hundred naira. This total I'm seeing, God, what's happening? <laughs> Week five, I spent a total of twelve thousand two hundred and sixty naira. Let's see the total together. Let's right, see the total. You would even see the total before me. This is it. Has it done? Guys, I spent a total of 168,320 naira. I did not say woo. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. 168,000 naira. That's like almost 170k. God, I beg. God, I beg is all I can see. I just want to be a baller. I don't want to be a mechanic. Um, so, um, actually, like every, actually, like every month, this is not like what I spent. I don't know what happened in October. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why it is that month I even choose. I would have chosen a month where, but it's all fine and good. So <laughs> that's all I spent in the month of October. Um, I, I, I'm not like more conscious. I'm actually like this person that is very, very conscious when it comes to spending of my money. I do not overspend. I do not spend excessively. Like if you go through everything. I really did not spend on clothes, on bags, on hair, like extravagant prices. So I actually like to go for a cheaper option where I get good things, where I get value for that cheaper option. At least when I'll be a bowler. Oh, okay. So and you can see that for this uh, for the price I paid for this air, it's actually worth it even more, if I must be honest. So actually like yeah that's just it that's just it you guys because i don't know what to say that's what i shall spend in the month of october god should be blessing us mama because it's not easy it's not easy so i hope you did enjoy it let me know what you think about it did it exceed your expectation or was it below your expectation if it is below your expectation i have seen as a big woman thank you very much very soon the money is coming okay so and um, thank you guys for watching this video let me know what other kind of video you want to see i cannot be doing this monthly so don't ask me to be doing this on a monthly basis no it's not gonna be possible it cannot be possible because i cannot put my finance out there every month it's, it doesn't make sense for me because this is not a finance channel okay so uh, that's just by the way but i'm actually serious about it um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you did pick one thing or the other. I don't even know what you would have picked. Probably be more cautious about spending. Budgeting helps. I think I will start doing that. And um, planning helps. Saving helps. What else? What else? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm grateful to God for provision. Um, there was a time I can like I I was even making six figures. There was a time in my life that I was making six figures. So for me to be spending like six figures in a month is God's blessing, actually. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm grateful to God for that. And this is some people chicken change for just one day outing for beauty maintenance, for clothes, just one clothes and all of that. But I'm grateful for where I am where i am going for where i was coming from and everything so 
Oh, loud. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching this video. Um, do well to subscribe before you leave and leave a comment. Let's talk in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.